Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net, and um, I have made it pretty well known and clear, both in my writings and on my YouTube channel, that I am a fan of 3D. I believe that good 3D, like good color, good black and white, and good surround sound, can add a lot to a movie. I don't think everything needs to be in 3D. For example, the Emoji Movie, which I am sorry to say I saw, did not benefit much from 3D, nor did it benefit much from being in CinemaScope, if you can believe it. But it was made with both of them because I guess they could. But one place I definitely love to see 3D, even if the 3D isn't necessarily great, is IMAX. And according to an article, well actually several articles, IMAX might be starting to ditch 3D. And while I don't doubt that claim and I don't doubt the words of the IMAX CEO, I do think it is misguided and I think, as usual, most Hollywood people are misreading what certain things mean. So I'm going to read bits from the article from Slash Film and I will... Um, put them up on screen, um, but it says, 3D movies are a source of controversy. They require clunky glasses that darken the screen, give you vertigo, and make you look like a dork. Not to mention they're pricey. 3D ticket prices add about $4 onto already inflated movie ticket prices. Pair that with an IMAX price, and there goes your groceries for the week. So I want to pause just real briefly to say that an IMAX 3D ticket costs the exact same as an IMAX 2D ticket. The rare exception is for the AMC IMAXs where they will charge $1 more if the IMAX movie is in 3D as opposed to 2D. So, um, But you're still looking at like a $21, $22 ticket. So it's not like it's nothing. So continuing. So it's a relief that IMAX is starting to move away from 3D movie screenings, catching on to movement against 3D that has been long overdue. If you went to see one of the biggest IMAX releases last weekend, you might have noticed something odd. Dunkirk was available in both IMAX and 70mm screenings, but none of them were in 3D. And I want to pause right there to point out that um, Dunkirk was not in 3D, but that's because it was not filmed in 3D, nor was it converted to 3D. Christopher Nolan, who is one of my favorite directors, does not like 3D. He will not film in 3D. Um, at least he's not going to film in 3D anytime soon, and uh, he will not upconvert in 3D. Heck, he is so old-fashioned, he filmed the movie in film, not digital. Um, and you know what? There is nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. A good 2D film can be just as good-looking and just as impactful as a 3D film, and I would even argue that in this particular case, the way Christopher Nolan filmed Dunkirk, you did not need the 3D. Now, if he had decided to make a 3D, I could definitely see how it would have looked good because there were a lot of scenes of flight, but by filming in the IMAX 70 millimeter film format as opposed to 3D, he got the same amount of immersion if you're seeing it on a real IMAX screen and not one of those, you know, fake IMAX screens that seem to be everywhere it seems so uh but it was but to say that it was not in 3d that was a choice that was a deliberate choice and that's the only reason there are no 3d screens at imax because there isn't one available anyway continuing this was part of IMAX's movement away from the third dimension and a strategy to rejuvenate business after disappointing second quarter earnings and i want to stop and point again Dunkirk was never intended to be in 3D, and it was never going to be in 3D. That is not part of IMAX's big goal. Continuing, IMAX Entertainment CEO Greg Foster said in an earnings call that Dunkirk's success in the company analysts of its earnings proved that consumers in North America have a clear preference for digital 2D versions of Hollywood movies. He's quoted... It's worth noting Dunkirk was showing exclusively in 2D, which consumers have shown us. The demand for 2D films is starting to exceed 3D in North America. Um, and uh, I would like to pause there um, because, interestingly, I, I don't completely disagree with him on that. I do think the vast majority of people still prefer 2D. Now, whether that's because they just like the way 2D looks better than 3D or whether or not they just don't like paying for 3D, that is way way more debatable um i would personally like to see 2d and 3d ticket prices cost the same then we would know for certain what people really prefer so you know we just need to add that um 
Dunkirk was filmed on IMAX cameras grossing more than $50 million domestically during its opening weekend, with its IMAX screening drawing in an impressive $11.7 million. And I believe that is because it was filmed in IMAX 70mm cameras. For example, the Transformers movies on opening weekends tend to pull a huge chunk from IMAXs, not only because is Transformers if you have to see those darn movies, worth seeing on the biggest screen possible. But they advertise that they are filmed with digital 8K IMAX 3D cameras. So there you have it. But we'll get back to Transformers in a minute. Um, but, you know, the bottom line is that Dunkirk was sold as an IMAX experience. That's the only other movie aside from Transformers that pushed the IMAX version as much as the um, regular version, and then some people still got you because my friend Anthony went to see Dunkirk in an IMAX location, and it wasn't a real IMAX, so he didn't even get to see it in the 70 millimeter film. All right, continuing the article. Continuing their practice of moving away from 3D and toward 2D, IMAX's domestic release for Blade Runner 2049 in October will only be shown in 2D. IMAX also plans to play movies for only one week on its screens to drive more revenue from from its theaters. Quote, we intend to shorten the length of play that we allot many films, which helps keep the content on screen fresh, IMAX CEO Richard Gelford said. It's a smart move for IMAX because 3D is just not profitable or cool anymore. As someone who frequently wears glass, okay, and now um, this uh, this little part I'll skip because it's just about the guy and he wears glasses, and I do acknowledge that 3D movies are probably annoying if you wear glasses, but IMAX glasses are designed to fit over people who eyes who wears glasses so that that's not an issue or at least they used to be i know that some of the more mainstream imax uh screens don't use those fancy glasses anymore um continuing and imax is not the only company to see the writing on the wall for 3d television manufacturers have completely stopped releasing 3d sets in 2017 and most directors are so unwilling to shoot with 3d cameras that their films are converted in post-production creating a lackluster 3D experience. Um, in regards to the TV manufacturing thing, I think that is a mistake. I think they should continue to put the 3D in, and it will eventually catch on once people have it. People just weren't going to go out of their way to buy a new TV for 3D, which is, I think, what they wanted. And I believe they will not go out of their way to buy a 4K TV just for the 4K. Now, as for um, the post-productions creating lackluster 3D experiences, I, I do agree with that. That... Um, is um, pretty much, uh, yeah, that's, I, I agree with that. Post-conversion is not as good as natural 3D. I wish more directors would um, direct in native 3D. But, um, oh, sorry for the chime there. Uh, it's interesting because that Blade Runner 2049 is going to be only in 2D because if memory serves, and if I am wrong, you can correct me in the comments because I probably should have looked that up first. But I actually believe and was under the impression that Blade Runner 2049 was filmed in 3D, which basically means it will look good in 3D. And that's very disappointing if uh, that's the one that they're going to start with the whole no 3D thing. But I don't, there you have it. Now, uh, the other, now let's address the second quarter earning reports. And I, to understand what went wrong, I'm going to show you this list of movies that came out in 2017. Um, and we're going to look at the 3D movies they were offering. Um, in international markets, by the way, it should be noted that Your Name got an IMAX release and Moy. I would have loved to have seen that in IMAX. Um, I'm really hoping some IMAX screen here, even if it's a fake IMAX screen, I'll admit it, I will go see your name on an IMAX screen. But anyway, uh, the first 3D movie they had in January was Triple X Return of Zonder, Zonder Cage. Um, that was, uh, well, it was a flop. Then you had Attraction, um, which uh, was in 3D. Uh, it wasn't released in America. Um, Resident Evil, the final chapter in 3D, uh, I think it did okay. Now, the Lego Batman movie was released only in IMAX 2D. In fact, it should be noted that Lego Batman movie Cars 3 and Despicable Me 3 were all released in 2D only versions for the IMAX. And I have earnings reports, by the way. I can't show them. I'm an IMAX shareholder, so I get some of these earning reports, and I get a little bit more detail about what makes what. And it's interesting that they're saying that 2D movies will draw in more people because the 2D-only versions of Lego Batman movie and um, 
Cars 3 and Despicable Me 3 did not do particularly well. Um, and I'm not saying it's because they weren't in 3D, it's just them being only in 2D didn't seem to sell any more tickets than um, not than having the 3D version. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Logan was not filmed in 3D, so it was only shown in 2D. And But that was a really good movie, so that did well for IMAX. Then you have Kong Skull Island in 3D. Didn't do very well in IMAX, but I don't think a lot of people liked it. Then you have Beauty and the Beast. Now, that did extremely well, and that was in 3D and IMAX. 3D did not prevent that movie from selling out tickets, and it was also made with IMAX 3D, so it had an expanded vision, which was a big bonus. In fact, Beauty and the Beast in 3D was so popular that the 2D screenings of Life, which was going to be a wide release, ended up becoming a limited release because no one wanted to give up the Beauty and the Beast 3D for 2D Life. Now, after that, Ghost in the Shell was released in IMAX 3D, and that bombed hard everywhere, so much so that a lot of IMAX screens the week after pretty much brought Beauty and the Beast back for another one-week run. Um... After that, Fate and the Furious, um, now that was released in 3D internationally, but not locally, and uh, I agree with that stance only because the director said 3D was wrong for the movie, and he didn't felt it looked right, but the Chinese market is very supportive of 3D, and that's why they had it, but we didn't have it in America. Um, let's see here. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was in 3D, that did very well in IMAX 3D. Um, and people went to see it. Um, Alien Covenant had a limited engagement, but again, not a lot of people went to see Alien Covenant, so there you go. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales was not a huge hit in IMAX 3D, but it wasn't a huge hit anywhere either. But afterwards, Wonder Woman, which was in 3D, was very successful, including IMAX. Now, after that, you had The Mummy in 3D, and no one wanted to see The Mummy, so, you know, there you go. And then you had Transformers The Last Night, which, uh... Uh, that did pretty well in IMAX for the first week, but the Transformers movies are definitely running out of gas, so it it only made like $250 million domestically, which is about $200 million shy of what it usually makes, and it's the first one that it's actually looking for overseas sales to uh, make its money back. And then you had Spider-Man Homecoming, which was in 3D and did very well in IMAX. Now, again, Dunkirk probably did especially well because it's Christopher Nolan, and they advertised IMAX 70mm film, which everyone knows is a big deal. 3D is not an event thing anymore. 70mm is. So, if I'm looking at the movies here, it actually seems like um, IMAX 3D is doing very well with certain movies. Most of the movies that did not do well, I don't believe it was because... They were in 3D. I believe it was because nobody wanted to see those movies in the first place. Like, if I am looking to the future movies um, that are going to be in 3D, I can't anticipate uh, IMAX skipping much of them. Because it should be noted that one of the comments that the CEO made is that we look forward to showing more IMAX 2D movies. And you know what? He is right. I mean, a lot of the stuff that they're showing in the future and in the very near future are not going to be in 3D, and that's by design. They're going to have the Inhumans premiere, which is basically the first two episodes of the Marvel series that's going to be airing on ABC, and those were shot with digital IMAX cameras. Then they're going to be showing It, which was not made in 3D. That's the Stephen King remake. Um, and uh, then the Lego Ninjago movie... It's shown to still be in 3D. Now, of course, they skipped out on the 3D for the Lego Batman movie, so they might do the same thing here, but at the moment, it's still scheduled to be a 3D release. But then you have Kingsman The Golden Circle. That's a 2D movie. Then you have American Made, which is a Tom Cruise movie. That is also 2D. Uh, you have Blade Runner 2049. Now, that one, they are foregoing deliberately the 3D version to show in 2D only. Um, so, who knows? Um, I think that might be their first experiment to see if this actually works. Uh, personally, if anyone from IMAX is listening, I will not be seeing the movie in IMAX because of this, which is disappointing. I did skip out on the IMAX releases of um, the uh, 
Despicable Me 3 and Cars 3. I made an exception for Lego Batman movie because 3D didn't help the Lego movie that much. But I am really glad I saw 3D for Despicable Me 3 and Cars 3 because the 3D really helped with those. But yeah, I will not see Blade Runner 2049 in IMAX without the 3D. After that, there's Geostorm. Now that says it's going to be in 3D. So is Thor Ragnarok. That says it's going to be in 3D. Justice League. That's going to be in 3D. And Star Wars The Last Jedi. That's going to be the full IMAX 3D experience with certain engagement showing IMAX 2D 70 millimeter, which um, I I don't think Star Wars is going to fail in 3D. In fact, I think Star Wars is one of those franchise that people want to see in 3d so as you can see the lineup is mostly 2d movies but i don't know how well lego ninjago movie will do i don't know how well it will do on imax i'm honestly not even sure how big inhumans will be it's essentially tv that you're asking people to pay to see that is mm, that's very very strange in my opinion uh, but, you know, the once we get to, like, Thor, Justice League, and Star Wars, guess what? Those IMAX theaters are going to be sold out, even if they're in 3D. And um, the only way you can for sure test that this is going to work is... And I really wish there were theaters that had two IMAX screens. I really wish this was the case, because then we could fully know what the difference is. And if you had... Like, Star Wars would be a great way to test this out. If you had a theater that had two real IMAX screens and one was showing it in 3D and one was showing it in the 70mm 2D, then you could see which one sold more tickets, if there was one that even sold more tickets. I think that when people go to IMAX, they expect it to be in 3D. I expect all that. I think more people want to see Dunkirk than the other movies, and that's why it did so well. Interestingly, almost all of the movies, with very few exceptions like Venom, and Deadpool 2 are going to be in 3D coming forward in IMAX. So, uh, I, I I don't know. P personally, I, I think IMAX completely misjudged uh, why their second, or, 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 sorry, their second quarter earnings were so poor. The reason the second quarter earnings were so poor in large was because I don't think they were releasing movies people really wanted to see. I truly believe that because when they had a movie that people wanted to see, which was Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Beauty and the Beast, Wonder Woman, and Spider-Man, the IMAX theaters were largely sold out. But when they were not something people wanted to see, like Kong Skull Island or um, Resident Evil or Triple X Return of Zonder Cage, they did not do, or Pirates of the Caribbean 5, they did not do very well. So... Or The Mummy. I mean, come on. The Mummy, that did not fail because it was in 3D. That failed because it was The Mummy. So, I don't know. That's my personal thoughts. But, of course, I invite this open to you. What do you guys feel? Do you believe this is a good thing for IMAX to get away from? Or do you believe that they are making a mistake? Um, also, keep an eye out for Save Blu-ray... Save 3D, um, I'll put a link below. I will be writing more about this decision and we will be paying attention to it on that blog. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? And are you going to miss this? And hey, are you going to see Blade Runner 2049 even if it's only in 2D and IMAX? Because I have to admit, it is tempting still. It is tempting. And if it was not filmed in 3D, I might, uh, I might be tempted, but I don't know. I Knowing that that's kind of like the scapegoat, that's the experiment... I, I kind of want to withhold my money just to show that, you know, no, I, I would really prefer it being 3D. But, you know, what do you folks think? Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member or buying some swag from the Great Media Universe Store. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.